There are different ways to load images into Epson Print Layout. One way is within Epson Print Layout itself. Just go to File, Open, choose an image, and the image will open into Epson Print Layout. Another way is to go to File, Open, highlight the file, and drag it either into the image area or into the browser. Another way to open an image in Epson Print Layout, if on a Mac, is simply to drag the file from anywhere into either the image area or the browser. You can also drag multiple images into Epson Print Layout at any one time. You can also send an image from Photoshop into Epson Print Layout by going to File, Automate, and click on Epson Print Layout. When using Lightroom, select the file, click Export, scroll down, open another application, and here choose Epson Print Layout. Once images are loaded into the browser, you can scroll through by clicking on each of the images or you can use this scroll bar here as a browser. You can also grab this here to make the thumbnails larger and the image area smaller or vice versa. You can also remove the browser and if you don't want the distraction of the settings so you can focus on the image itself, just click settings. There are some additional features within Epson Print Layout. If you go to the browser and run the cursor over each of these images, you'll be able to see metadata information, such as the color space and the file size. Going over to this part of Epson Print Layout allows you to zoom into an image, and it brings up a navigator. And this way you can move around the image and uh, sometimes you're looking to see if uh, there's anything, any dust marks, anything that needs to be corrected. You can also crop with an Epson print layout. If you go up here to crop image, grab one of these anchors and if your aspect ratio is locked, it will remain the same and allow you to crop into the image. If the aspect ratio is unlocked, you can freeform your crop. Epson Print Layout will display the resolution at print size in the bottom left in pixels per inch, or PPI, and it'll let you know with words like best or too low if the resolution is high enough to print at the size specified.